in and upright. Nice and tall, squeeze it in. Here we go, reach, tap. Loop across. Keep it here. I'm just gonna close someone's bike. Keep it here. Good. Good, take it up and over. Here we go. Good. Let's take it back. Elbows low here. Heels going back. Really pull it back. Good. Elbows shoulder height. Opening up the chest. Around that shoulder. Let's pause right here. We're pulsing it out. Toes are facing forward. Hinge forward at the waist. Go to the other side. Here we go. Good. Let's bring it center. Soft, easy squat here. Good. March it out. All right. So, the first move of our micro are those tight arm circles. All right, get prepared. Take a deep breath and begin. Good, and relax. Roll those shoulders out. Little front to back action. Good. So up next is that prisoner squat, okay? So you know, fingertips are lightly here. We're not pulling, right? So we're trying to come straight down. So we're not hinging forward. We're trying to just come straight down. Our torso is gonna go forward. But just make sure that you're not intentionally bending forward. You can do it standing. Let's go.
Good, and relax. So if ever you're um, doing that move and it feels like it's too much tension or if you're having issues with your knees, you can switch, we can work on core work, you can sit in the chair, lift your knees, or um, just decrease the amount that you, that you lower your body, okay? All right, so those oblique bends are next. Those side bends, everything is nice and tight. Feet secure on the floor, soft knee. Let's go. Good, and relax. All right. Our favorite move of the micros up next. <laughs> Let's take it down for those um, squat thrusts. Okay, so we're gonna take it down to the floor. We're gonna start off in the position as if we were gonna do a tabletop push-up. Now you have options here. You can do these stepping front to back, or if you need to, you can keep it here. Keep the core nice and tight. All right, let's go. All right, relax. So one thing I want you to make sure that you do, that I didn't do on that last one, my arms, my palms got a little bit ahead of me. So if you start to get tired and your arms are here, your shoulders are here, make sure that you reposition and get your shoulders over your palms, okay? So you can have it here or step it up and back. All right, we're going down to our back. For those Otis up. Let's go. Very good, very good. I know, good morning abs, good afternoon abs. Good evening abs, depending on when you're looking. They're there, all right. Once you take your time, you're gonna come to standing. The good news is the rounds are now getting shorter. Now that we're out of that micro, we're no longer at a minute around, we're at 40 seconds. We're starting 
with our high knee pull, right? So really for me, it's like a cross body. I like to add a little rotation here so we can get our obliques in. We'll look in here and here, right? If that's too much, you can tap it here. So we've got toe so out to hip at an angle here. Good. Rotating. Good, you got it. Starting in that waistline, working on our hips. Good. Very good. All right, so don't forget, you have to keep that tiny bend in that supporting leg, okay? And that knee. So, make sure you change directions. Get your thinking cap on. Other side, let's go. Move that rotation if you can. Straight from an angle. Good. If that rotation is not for you, keep it here. And relax. All right, good job. All right, so listen, up next, we're gonna do our jets, but this time we're gonna minimize that impact because we can still get our heart rate keeping our feet kind of low to the floor. So we're literally keeping it low here, okay? So let's go. If you can do the impact, you're here, nice and low. Otherwise, here, okay? Think flat feet. Point and keep it here. Good. Listen to your body. Modify when necessary. Good job and rest. Mainly, I wanted you to see that you can get that heart rate up quick without even jumping high. You don't have to leave the floor very, um, very much at all. So think flat foot, soft landing. One more round. Here we go. Good, make sure you're breathing. Modification is here. Be intentional with your arms. Good job. Very good. Almost there. Two and one relax. switch it up with a punch stabilizing our torso um, core is nice and tight good here we are we're punching shoulder height let's go think of whatever you're hitting it's super hot you need to hurry up and get your hand back good embrace your core Good. We're gonna pick up the pace and go faster on the next round. But right here, we're doing a powerful punch. Good. Hit it and back right off. Hit it and back off. Hit it, back off. You got it, almost there. Good, rest. All right, very good. So now on this next one, we are speeding it up. And when we speed it up, we're gonna need most more of our abs to help us um, stay forward so we're not running all over the place. 
same thing. We're just picking it up nice and fast. Let's go. Good. Use your core. Brace those hips. Keep those hips square to the front. Everything's tight. Let's go. We're still hitting a shoulder height if you can. And stop. Very good. All right. So, I know that we did um, those prisoner squats, but I do want us to do a few squat pulses here if you can. For these, toes are facing out, okay? And you're keeping it here. If you're having knee issues, don't go down very low. If you can take it wider, you're taking it wider, targeting our inner thighs. Good. Got to be upright if you can. It's okay. If you can't get your toes out at 180, you can put them out as wide as you're able to. Torso staying upright, you should feel significant work in your inner thighs. Three, two, good, and one. Bring it up and shake it out. All right, one more time. Set it up. We're starting in three, two, one. Pulse it out. Good. Hang in there. Ooh, good. Dig it out. All right. We're going back to the obliques and knees and hips, okay? So what we've got here we're stabilizing ourselves with this leg, tiny bend in the knee, arm is up and over, and we're lifting our leg. Here we go. Looking good. So you see you're trying as best as you can to maintain a line from your head down to that supporting foot, good. Walk your knee out. Good rest. All right, get ready. Other side starts. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Really extend that reach when you arc over so you can feel a nice put of tension all the way up here. Good. Good job. I know. Trust me, I know. Okay? All right, let's get those hamstrings. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do the hamstring lift. So if you need to balance yourself on a chair, 
at the wall, whatever you need, come here, lift. Straight leg behind you, bending that supporting leg so you can pulse in here, up, good. So your glute should be nice and tight here. Hamstring is tight also. Good. Hang in there. <laughs> Belly still engaged. Three, two, one. Good. Give a little wiggle, shake it out. If you wanna do it without balance support, you can or you can keep your support, okay? For me, I'm just using a weighted bar. You can use the back of the chair, you can be at the wall. The main thing is keep your core engaged, glute tight, targeting the hamstring, straight leg, bend and supporting knee, let's go. Good, I gotta turn around so I can see y'all. Good job. Hang in there. Good job. Who's that belly? Almost there. There you go. Lost my balance when I was looking up. All right. Looking good. Where are we? All right, so now we have abductor lifts. Belly's nice and tight. Supporting uh, foot flat on the floor, bending knee, everything's tight here. We are lifting. I know those hips are probably already burning out. Just hang in there. Now, if you can do this without a tap down, that's more of a challenge. Otherwise, Tap it down. I know it was burning. That's work though. You got it. And grow. Three, two, one. Give it a wiggle. Both directions, I know. All right. One side down, one to go. Use your hands if you need to. I mean, your arms for your balance. Three, two, one. Let's go. So if this was easy peasy for you and you didn't feel like you were losing your balance at all, see if you can do it without tapping down. Otherwise, keep that tap down. This is week one. We've got plenty of time to perfect our balance. All right, there you go. Boy, my hips are burning today. All right, let's um take it down. Where are we? Oh, this will be our last one. Let's take it down to the floor for push-ups, okay? We'll show some modifications. You may do your push-ups at the wall or on an elevated surface. I'll show you a variety of ways. Let's start tabletop, flat back, palms below the shoulders. Starting is here. Progression, walk the hands forward, bring the hips with you, press it down, okay? There you go. My palms are too far forward. Press. Good. You can also take it on an elevated surface. Remember, my bench is right here. Very good. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, relax. I know. It's okay. This is the last time. Let's push it. 
Here we go. This is it. Find your spot and give it your all. Very good. Do so, hang, but pat on the back. Good job. Good job. Listen, let's stay close to the floor before we get up to finish our other stretches, okay? Sorry, as I see you almost up there. All right, let's do one knee here. If you're comfortable being on your knees, otherwise we can stand up to do these. I wanna work on a hip flexor stretch here. So you're gonna lean in, Tuck your pelvis forward, okay? We're stretching this area right across here. Try to get near that psoas. Good, hold it here. Good, go ahead and release that tension. While you're close by, let's go ahead and get the hamstring and the gastroc on this um, other leg. So go ahead and outstretch. Pinch forward if you can. Reach for that leg, give it a gentle pull towards you. Don't put any pressure on the knee, on this uh, straight leg. Good, go ahead and bring that leg back. If you're comfortable doing so, we can go ahead and put that leg, put that knee down, so we can work on the hip on that leg. Other knee comes forward. I get an angle, see, or turn around a little bit. All right, knees here. Lean forward just a bit until you feel that tension. Try and tuck your hip forward. <clears throat> this is a really good stretch that you can do on each on each leg um, or each hip, I should say. If you want to hold it for thirty seconds on each side, it's something you can do throughout the day that help you with your uh, hip flexibility. All right, go ahead and outstretch that leg that was in front. Walk your hands forward or just lean forward. Really aim for a nice stretch in the hamstrings. Give a gentle pull for that toe towards you. You should feel some engagement in the back of your calf also. All right, very good. Go ahead and bring that knee back. Come standing comfortably if you want to lean. Use your leg for support. Place your hands in the center of your thigh. Give a gentle press and come on standing. Deep breath in right here. Good, blow it out. Once more, here we go. Good, blow it out. We did a lot of oblique work. Let's stretch up and over. Keep that torso facing forward. Let your body drop. Good. Get the other side. Take your time coming back to neutral. Good. Let's bring this arm across the front of our chest. Good, other side. Relax that shoulder. Good, let's press it back for a tricep stretch here. Good, take it here.
good. Release. Arms out in front of you, nice and wide. Reach, 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 reach back. Chin is up. Good, bring it in the center. Place your fingers, pull away from you. Good, arms open. Palms behind you. Press, press, press. Good, drop it down. Place the fingers. Pull down to the floor. Really good stretch for your shoulders. Shoulder blades should be coming together. Good, release. Let's take a deep breath in. Good, blow it out. Good, this next breath we're gonna take, we're gonna take a nice giant breath. But when we get ready to take it out, we're gonna blow it out nice and slowly through a nice first lift. Let's go. Blow it out. Excellent job, everybody. Great work.